Hi there, and welcome to another heavy metal diecast video. Um, today's bad boy, as you can see, is the uh, Spitfire Mark VC, which is Mark V. So, as you know, or you probably, well, most of you will know, the Spitfire um, was a British fighter that operated during World War II and uh, even into the 50s as well after the war. So, this was an Allied fighter that uh, fought from the very beginning of World War II and uh, in every theatre of the conflict. So, and including one of the most famous battles, of course, the Battle of Britain. So over 20,000 of these um, exceptional aircraft were built in all its variants, which would include 19 marks and 52 sub-variants. So there was a lot of um, experimentation and modifications to these particular aircraft. So we get stuck into this one. This particular one is um, a Mark um, a VC, so 5C, and it's of the Royal Australian Air Force, or RAAF, 79th Squadron. So we'll... We'll try and open this, open this bad boy up. So it's Warbird Series Dragon Wings, 172nd scale. Um, as you can hear, the birds are exceptionally excited as well. So we'll get this, get this monster out. What do you reckon? So we'll put the box over here, and um, we'll have a have a good look. So as you can see, it's you know standard um, Spitfire. So let's see if we can get this open. Mind the noise as the uh, Melbourne Sun decides to disappear it's got the standard stand <laughs> that to the side and that, that's the aircraft right there as you can see it's quite well detailed I picked this up for $41 including the uh, postage from the Australian seller so I thought that was a pretty good deal for, especially for a Dragon uh, 170 second die cast so it's got all the protective plastic and everything we'll just peel that away Hopefully it won't get blown away by anything. As you can see, it's got um, the gun gun points there, aerial. Um, it's got option for the different type of canopy if you want open canopy. Um, landing gear for wheels down. Obviously, repeller needs assembly on there. Um, so we'll, what we'll do is we'll peel this bit of plastic off, which should be relatively easy. So we'll get this landing gear pop out nicely. We'll grab the, the plane before we do any damage to that and we'll place that here nicely for you to see or grab that propeller. So we'll just have a quick squeeze at the aircraft. As I said the sun decided to go away just as I open this up for you to, to check out so this is uh, as you can see we'll have a little look at the detail for you. It's Gen 3 so uh, no, it's not an engine. Um, <laughs> I suppose the uh, only the car people would know that pun. And Gen 3 was. Um, but anyway, back to the <laughs> the aircraft. Um, what we'll do is we'll. It, it's quite a, quite a nice looking unit. We'll put the propeller on, which is should be quite straightforward, and it is. Um, as you can see, very very simple to uh, assemble. Does spin very freely. Spins quite nicely. We'll flip this bad boy over on its back. And it, as you can see there, it, is, it comes standard with its um, wheels up configuration. Um, so to um, put the other four wheels down, we'll just uh, take that off. Might, um, instead of trying to grab this out with my sausage fingers, might get trusty bladey to flick, flick that out. And we'll put the uh, the landing gear in, which that might be back to front. That looks more appropriate. And then this this little piece goes back on, like so. And there you have it, landing gear on. Obviously, the tail wheel needs to go there, and um, and your accessories, your gun accessories, and everything like that. But we'll just move that piece out of the way, and we'll have a little little looksy. Now that the sun's decided to make an appearance, but um, yeah, the, the details in this, as you'd expect with Dragon, it's very, very nice, very, very cool. Um, there is no pilot figure in there, but obviously there is quite a bit of um, cockpit detail, if it allows us to sort of have a bit of a, a zoom in for you. Obviously a little aerial has to go here, but I mean the, the, the details are very nice very ex 
squeeze it. I like to say, good bit of kit. <laughs> but as you can see, look at these panel lines. Panel lines are fantastic. Engine detail, very nice. Under, under, under the wing details, same deal. Very, very, very well detailed. Oops, I've moved that with my sausage finger. Obviously, that should be straight. <laughs> But I do have uh, quite fat fingers because I'm fatty. <laughs> uh, but uh, overall, I, th I think this is a pretty, pretty good example. And um, you know, especially for me, being an Australian, this is an Australian example. So obviously the stand slots in there. I won't go into that detail with it. I'll try and keep these a little bit, uh, a little bit shorter for you. Yeah, I know everyone's busy. <laughs> So, but overall, yeah, no, I think this is a very good rendition of the Spitfire Mark V C. So, yeah, once again, so this is uh, from the um, uh, from Dragon. That's a 172nd scale Warbird series. So it's the Dragon Wings, and uh, yeah, full die guards, 172nd scale. Cost me forty-one dollars, and that was including the postage to me. So, overall, I think this is a pretty good-looking unit. Nice rendition of the Spitfire, and especially for me, being an Aussie Spitfire, so I think that's pretty cool. So, yeah, as per usual, I will take some photos of this um, without my sausage fingers being in the way, so you can have a real good look at it. And um, yeah, throw us a like if you enjoyed this video, and even subscribe if you want to keep up to date with uh, all my upcoming videos and check out some of my older ones. So, yeah. Thanks again for coming and uh, you have a great rest of your day. Cheers.